Hey guys, it is Yesenia and welcome to another video. Today we are going to go thrifting for the first time ever. I went to like a thrift store one time in my life and that was years ago when I was young with my brother and like I didn't buy anything, it was just like a go in, go out type of thing. In my Midwestern little small town, there are not a lot of thrift shops. All we got here is a little Goodwill and it just looks small. So I don't know what we're gonna find there, I'm not sure. My goal today is to really find furniture for my daughter's room because I'm going to do like a little Montessori inspired bedroom. So I thought I might find like a little bookshelf there or I don't know, maybe some cute little decorations. So furniture is like my priority here, but I'm obviously going to look at the clothes and like try to find cool little pieces. If you saw my little spring refresh, I donated like most of my clothes <laughs> that's not like just to hang out at home so i have no clothes to go out no stylish clothes and with me trying to find my style anyway why not try like go to the thrift shop see what they have and then i can try different styles without breaking the bank i clearly also have no idea on how to thrift correctly and like finding the treasure and all that so you can go on this little adventure with me for the first time ever and like just see what they got i'm just gonna go in there and like try my best to find something so let's go the first place I went to look at was at the very back where they have the furniture and I saw this really cool piece. It reminds me of like Halloween vibes. I know it doesn't look like I was looking for any clothes, but trust me, I was. I was just confused with the whole sizing situation. I was definitely looking in the wrong areas for a while. The first thing I thought I could work with was this little cute like athletic skirt, like tennis vibes. I was like, okay, I can work with this. Then moved on to the skirts. I saw this blue skirt that I just fell in love with the color and then I I saw these jeans and I was like, wow, yeah, their thing is interesting for sure. This is a beach skirt or like a pool skirt and it's not really my style, but then again, we're thrifting, so we're gonna just try everything out. I then decided to look in the men's section and why does the men's section have all these cool t-shirts and the women's section doesn't? What? I hate that about stores. These shorts looked so cute and you're gonna see that they easily became my favorite. I knew thrifting was going to be hard, but I really did have a hard time finding pieces I actually liked and wanted to try on. I only found four items to try on, and they're all pants, so let's give it a shot. Okay, the first thing I tried on was this beach skirt, and after I untied it, I had no idea how to put it back together, so that was a no-go. I finally tried on the blue skirt, and I just love the color, but it wasn't my size, I think. There was something really off about it, and it wasn't flattering to my body, especially my back. I looked like a freaking rectangle. Now, these shorts, I loved. I loved the color. I loved the folded part at the bottom. I love that vintage look that it gave. But unfortunately, it just wasn't my size, so it kind of like scrunched up my butt and my stomach was a little overflowing there. And then I checked the tags and of course they were Calvin Klein jeans, so they were pretty good quality. I then tried on the skirt that I found first, but it was horribly unflattering in all aspects. It sat very low on my body, it didn't hug my waist, it made me look like a rectangle, so that was a definite no-go. I'm telling you, I had some sizing issues when I was browsing, but I think I have a better idea of how they section out their clothes now. I also noticed this piece of hair on the floor and I instantly thought it was a spider and almost freaked out. I really liked these, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can find another one in a bigger size, but I, I highly doubt it. I tried going back for the shorts to see if there was a different size, but unfortunately there wasn't. I did find this random skirt and it's giving me like teacher vibes and I just want to try it on for fun. Unfortunately, it was huge on me and it just wasn't the vibes I was really going for anyway. So yeah, no. I'm back in my car and I am empty handed. I didn't really find anything. The store itself is pretty small and it didn't have a lot of selections for like all the sizes. But I really liked those shorts. I feel like they're like the perfect like style that I kind of like right now. And I love the little folded part. The color was great. I feel like those shorts paired with like an oversized shirt that's like kind of tucked in but kind of out with some like white sneakers would be so cute and they just didn't have my size. They had like a very little selection of shorts that weren't like teeny tiny shorts or just my size in general. The white skirt just, it wasn't it. It wasn't flattering to my body at all and it just felt like it sat low. So I didn't like it. There was one thing I wanted to get, but someone got it first and it's like an art easel for, um, I think that's what it's called. The little art stand where it has chalk on one side and you can draw on the other. I wanted to buy that for my daughter because I saw like someone that thrifted and they said that they found one at Goodwill. So I was like, okay, 
yeah, let me try. And I saw someone walking with it and I was like, oh, I hope they drop it. Like, I hope they just don't want it and they leave the store. But they bought it. The thing is, I went to the post office before I came to Goodwill. So I'm wondering if I just would have not stopped at the post office, would I have been able to snag that? But I mean, it doesn't matter. That would have been a pretty cool thing to thrift, but I wouldn't say it was a fail just because it was my first experience. So I mean, I didn't expect it to go really well, to be honest with you. But I just wish we had different thrift stores around here that had more options, more variety. A lot of the items were like older lady things, you know. There were a couple grandmas shopping up in there. But I guess I'll come like once in a while and see if they update their stuff. But yeah guys, it was an unsuccessful, successful thrift trip for my first time. Um, opened my eyes to how cheap thrifting can be if like I guess if you find the right stuff. And something I'll be trying out more often in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.